Hello and welcome to my creaky wooden chair at my desk. Well, it's my table. Everything I seem to sit in creaks. I'm beginning to think it might be me. Anyway, this is jasonnewland.com. It's my website. My name is Jason Newland. Uh, what else? This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And um, yeah, I think that's that's the introduction. Andre's just woken up to <laughs> do a poo. <laughs> Lovely. He stretches right out. Oh, he just head bited my foot. He's, he's half asleep, so he just he's ran into my foot. And then <laughs> he just shook it off and carried on. And he's gone back into basically on the floor near my door there's a pair of old tracksuit bottoms or running bottoms or whatever you want to call them that he now sleeps in because he likes to get into the the legs of them because it's kind of like a tunnel it's weird those uh, tracksuit bottoms because or sweatpants, they call them, you can call them sweatpants. I mean, everything's sweatpants, isn't it, if you sweat. So, the waist, the elastic in the waist went on those. And I don't understand why. It just went. It sort of must have been something wrong with them. But they got to a point where the elastic stopped working and they started falling down so I'd figure I must have lost lots of weight but according to the scales I haven't which is uh, it's an emotional thing <laughs> it's, it's not really so what oh. mm. Just let you know that I haven't made much in the way of recordings this week. Like, you know, the other stuff that I do. The deep sleep whisper hypnosis, the relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety, panic attacks, the weekly sleep hypnosis weekly. So I've not done any of those for a, a little while. Um, probably five, six days, maybe longer. So, but I've done a few of these, so I've kind of keeping me, keeping me toes in. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird frame. Yeah, I'm, I've got my toes in. My toes are keep me. I don't know if that's a real is that a terminology. Keep me hand in. Anyway, today. <sighs> or yesterday, should I say? Friday, because it's now Saturday. I. I do I've actually done quite a lot I 
been all week I've been doing some tidying I've been doing a little bit of this a little bit of that you know some laundry some uh, bits and bobs so I'm kind of it seems to be never ending but I'm gradually getting there and when I bought my shed for my bedroom my garden shed which is going to be my my uh, recording studio I removed the soundproofing from the wall in the living room and quite a lot of the tiles which left the wall covered in bits of fluff it was like the worst I imagine it's I don't know, I shouldn't say, but like the worst Brazilian wax you could ever see. It's, it was really, it was, it was everywhere. There was like little bits of fluff everywhere. And at first, I kind of pretended to myself that it was some kind of artistic design. Then I started to get a little bit annoyed with it because it looked messy. And I took some off when I put the punch black black or when I put punch bag up. I took some off when I put the TV up, the bracket for the the T V bracket, wall bracket thing. So it was a bit of a mess. So what I've been doing today is putting a back on the wall. And I spent a few hours doing that on and off watching a bit of telly and doing some stuff on the website but I spent pretty that's pretty much what I've done for the day there's still a bit left to do um, which I'll probably do tomorrow but it just looks nicer now I'm looking over at the wall and there's the bookcases and the, the the soundproof towel type towels tiles on the wall it just looks nicer than it did so and you may say yeah but what about the garden shed are you going to put them on there and the answer is no at the moment because there's quite a bit of work to do on the shed it needs to be soundproofed with certain like material that I need to put on first and I think I'm going to use I've got these sheets soundproofing sheets that I bought a little while back uh, and these strips and they've got adhesive on the back of them and you you pull off like the back the paper whatever off the back and it sticks to the wall really good. And one, two, three, four, five. I should have six of them, but I could only find five. So I put them on the other wall. And it's covered a big area. Just, you know, each sheet is the size of one, two, three, four probably six tiles two, four, six, yeah probably about the space of about six tiles so it's in fact two, four, six, possibly eight tiles actually thinking about it which is quite good so I'm just going to probably get some of those instead of the tile tiles once I've done you know filled in all the holes and I've got some uh, foam putty stuff to do that and you know it's, it's, it's a little bit of a job but there's other stuff I want to get done first 
because I'm in the living room more than I am in the bedroom. And when I'm in the bedroom, I've got my eyes closed most of the time. So I don't really get to see my surroundings. Although sometimes... A couple of times I've opened my eyes, looked at the shed and thought, I'm not sure if that was a good idea. You know, I'm not sure about the, uh, I don't know, is it in the right place? You know, it's like it's a garden shed. It's my bedroom. So I kind of don't know. Um, I don't know. Seems okay though. It would be much nicer once it's actually done. But there's other things to do. Um, kind of before. So I've got two racks in the bedroom on the wall for clothes. I need to get two more at least um, to put other clothes on. So I've, I, it's not that I've got a lot of clothes, it's just I've got too much for two racks. Well, not, yeah, they are kind of racks, I suppose, yeah. And. I also put t-shirts on hangers as well, so that's probably kind of why. Because I haven't got a wardrobe, or I did have this, but it's in the storage room. Because I need to keep everything off the floor. Because what Andre did, and I've mentioned this before, he had two little things he liked to do with the wardrobe. One, well, three. One, he would hide underneath the back of it because there was a gap in the back and I couldn't get to him without tipping the wardrobe all the way over and it's a heavy old wardrobe so he knew that he could hide and I couldn't get to him so he likes that he likes going in places where he thinks I can't get to him there's not many and that was one of them beyond the cooker's another one now he uses the shed and he hides behind the chair in the shed and because well till today I've got a little light in there now but I didn't have a light so I could never see where he was so he's got his little little tactics the other thing he used to do is he'd lay on his back with his basically with his hands he'd keep pushing the door open of the wardrobe and letting it bang shut then he'd just keep doing it especially when I was in bed and he wanted me to get up and the other thing he did was he'd go in there and he'd do a wee which doesn't, it's not the best thing for your, it's not the best air conditioner for your clothes, is it? The best clothes conditioner, ferret piss. So yeah, I just, I got rid of the wardrobe and I've been, uh, basically just been keeping stuff on it, on a, where was it before? Yeah, what I used to do, a lot of the stuff, because I've got a washing machine, but I don't have a tumble dryer. So I wash the stuff. Most of it can go on coat hangers. I put underwear, socks on the radiators. And put the coat hangers, I, I hang them on the rail of 
where the curtains are in front of the window, which is generally where curtains are, I guess. And I put it, because I've got quite big windows, the curtain rolls fairly wide. So I can put like one, two, three, four, probably six, six hangers on there, on each one. So I can have like 12 t-shirts or shirts or whatever hanging up, you know, six here, six in a bedroom. And when I move the, um, the wardrobe into the storage room I ended up using just leaving the stuff on the window you know on the, the window frame thing which was just again it just looked a bit messy so now I've got this whole whole thing set up so I've got the two racks, uh, coat racks. Uh, it's not a coat rack, I've got, it's hard to do. It's basically, it's a rail. No, it's a bar that's, and it's got an attachment that sticks to the wall. And there's a bar on either side of it, there's a bar which like screws in, which you can hang your, anything with a coat hanger on really. I mean, you could technically I suppose you use it as a, well no, I think pretty much a coat hanger, a coat, a coat rack, yeah I can't think of anything else you could use it for really, I mean you could walk around just carrying it around. If you're around, you know, if you know people, don't get impressed by stuff like that. But so now I've got that, and it holds. Now that I've fixed them, because I didn't have it tight enough, it all went wonky. But I, I fixed that a couple of days ago, and um, so now the side of my shed has got a bit of the roof just hanging down. It's just the design of it. So what I've done is I've drilled about 12 holes in with a space between each one. And I've made a mark so I know where the hole is. So when I do the, my washing, I put the t-shirts, it's mainly t-shirts really, uh, or tops or whatever, and I hang them on hangers along the the roof, the edge of the roof of the shed. Which means now my windows are free. They're like clutter free. So they're now gone back to just being curtains. Because before well they're always curtains. But before I used to end up opening <laughs> the curtains and knocking a t-shirt or something off you know it'd land on the floor and Andre would grab it and I'd never see it again so now both of my windows are completely free of clutter which I like I like that That's yeah I do I, do, I like the, the less clutter, the better, I think. Just a personal thing, really. And that's, I'm not pretending there's no clutter in there because the floor is full of Andre's stuff. But I don't know what the alternative to that is. The alternative it would be for him to have no toys, and that's not going to happen, uh, or get rid of him, which is obviously not going to happen. So, 
I'd, I've got a thing. If I put his toys in a box, he doesn't bother with them. And it seems pointless. I might as well put them in the in the in the cupboard. So I need to. I'm going to figure out a way where I can put them. I don't know some kind of shelf system where he can help himself. So I can have it so he can see his toys, and if he wants one, he can just get it. So I want to figure that out. In fact, I've only just thought of it just now, and it seems like a good idea. So I have some kind of low low shelf with all his toys kind of just together, and he can just choose which ones he wants, and he can play with them, and, and I can just keep putting them back. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm quite pleased with the walls now because apart from making the room more soundproof, which is kind of important, I want the whole flat to be soundproofed as much as possible. And I'm gonna get a soundproof carpet but not a whole carpet, just uh, like it would be a strip of carpet or a soundproof mat or something for the you know for the floor. I'll just get a few of them to cover the cover the floor. Um, even if it's the thickness of the skirt and boards, you know, anything that prevents me from disturbing my neighbour and also. In the future, who knows who I'm gonna, you know, what neighbours I'll have. So it'd be nice to just prepare so that I'm not, that no one can disturb me or, you know, have like loud music wouldn't bother me because I'll have a soundproof flat. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And also on the other side of the wall, so on the right side of the wall, I've got a punch bag. There's a television in front of me that's on the wall as well. I've got one, two, three, four big bookcases on the right of me. And then there's my chair, the big black squeaky chair. So I've got all my books on the three of the bookcases. One of the bookcases just got a bit of stuff on there, a few bits. And then the soundproofing is covers nearly the whole of the wall where the telly is, practically the whole of that side of the wall on the right. And it will cover pretty much the whole of the wall behind me as well. So eventually, I'd say the whole of this flat, the whole of this room will be soundproofed. Eventually. And then I've got one whiteboard to put on the wall, but I want to get a few of them because I want to start using them, writing down my ideas, sort of planning some sessions and getting a bit more organised. Not so much for these uh, recordings, but for some of the other stuff I do. And if I do go to university next year and to do a master's in applied positive psychology, I will use that to help me, you know, with studying and planning, uh, planning a dissertation or planning essays and stuff. So the left side of me is going to have probably four to six big whiteboards. I say big, I mean it's maybe four, four whiteboards. So that would be on that wall. And yeah, so I kind of got it planned in my head and then there's the, I'll be doing the shed as well but it's, it's, there's a lot of prepping that needs doing on that and there's a bit of um, 
it's not as simple as I thought it was going to be. I thought I'd just buy the shed and stick some soundproof tiles up and that's it. But it's, it's not. It's, it's, it's really not. So it's, uh, it's not building work that I need to do, but there's kind of uh, shed construction-y stuff. So putting in soundproof in foam like insulation so almost kind of like building walls within the shed which I'm going to have to learn from watching YouTube videos basically but my hope is with the soundproof in this room that the quality the sound quality should be quite good and there shouldn't be too much background distraction and even if there is I can kind of get away with it with these recordings uh, I'm not dismissing these recordings as being less important but it's when I'm doing so on the deep sleep whisper hypnosis ones if I'm there and I'm whispering it's like yeah I'm like this and as you feel calmer in your feet and, and then suddenly you hear like a cat meowing or someone swearing or something you know in the, in the garden or a car or a helicopter it it almost sounds louder than it is uh, would be if compared to me just talking although I'm not really talking I'm I'm almost whispering in some ways I'm, it's very gentle talk softly spoken because after all it is it is a sleep recording you know I know it's it's me just talking about stuff but there is an underlying <laughs> underlying Where, where's there a lion there's no lion reason that's what I'm doing so the thing about this uh the soundproof and foam actually keeps the heat in there you know Andre's making some weird noises I think he snores more than me have a quick drink I was going to say check out my website jasonnewland.com because you may wish to leave a testimonial like basically just tell others did you hear him he's proper groaning Andre are you alright mate sometimes I'm very overprotective about him I know I can't help it but he's asleep sometimes when he's asleep and he's like moans I really and I just think I don't know what he's dreaming about and in the past I've actually woken him up just to give him a cuddle make sure he's okay but he's asleep he's okay isn't he if you're asleep you're okay so he's not I guess he's just dreaming dreaming about 
something. I hope he's a nice stream. But it's not really got anything to do with me, is it? It's his, his dream. It's personal for him. But yeah, have uh, if you wanted to leave a testimonial on my website, let other people know what you think and stuff. I've had a few recently. Um, let me have a look. So I'm actually... I'm at my laptop now because I thought I'd do a little bit of uh, a little bit of playing and like just looking at stuff. So I've had a couple of um, yeah. So I've had a, a few this month so far. I've had one. Was it the sixteenth? Isn't it so far? So. This month I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven testimonials so far this month. The last one was on the 14th, and it's now the 16th. And the latest one was from uh, Lilith, and it says, and this is you can read this on a public website so it's not it's not like a private message um, but I'll read a little bit it's, I absolutely love your podcast show Let Me Bore You to Sleep as well as Relaxation Hypnosis I must admit I am a week and a half into listening to both and you have put me to sleep after two years of insufferable insomnia and panic attacks your voice is gentle and lulling I thought luring, lulling. Um, there's a few bits, but uh, I feel a good connection with your mellow personality and tones. And OMG, you get us giggling over the silliest things. We adore Andre. Everyone adores Andre. Everyone loves Andre. He's he's the, I think he's the favourite. He's the. Uh, I feel I'm Andre's straight man in this uh, this partnership. That was from Lilith, so thank you, Lilith, for that. And and I got another one here, the same day by from Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Thank you for this. And the Let Me Bore You to Sleep podcast really helps me. And if I don't go off to sleep, Jason's stories keep me company. I especially enjoy his stories, made up or not. Miss you when you don't do a podcast for a day or two. Thank you so much. So thank you for that. Um, I seem to be getting more testimonials for the Let Me Boy to Sleep podcast. But this isn't even my most popular one. So... Uh, let me read another one. This is from Natalie. I just wanted to thank you. Your podcast, Sleep Hypnosis, and Let Me Boy to Sleep have saved my life. Fibromyalgia, um, fibromyalgia sufferer and insomnia for decades until I discovered your podcasts. Again, thank you so very much, Natalie. That's from Canada. Well, she's from Canada, so that's that's really um, in all honesty I mean it's nice to have um, I mean how many are there? 129 testimonials on my website now so it's, it's nice to have people sort of saying nice things um, so that others can read it so you know know that it's real and I've not just made it up and every testimonial that's on my website I can prove is is real um, they've been posted and I've got a track of everything that's been posted 
and all the I get an email and everything and um, and also the ones yeah so it's, everything's provable so I don't make up stuff I make up stuff when I'm doing these recordings but if I was going to make up podcasts and the uh, testimonials rather first of all it'd be more than 129 because I'd get carried away it'd probably be about 5,000 testimonials and I'd be writing the most outlandish stuff about me <laughs> so you know I wouldn't uh, wouldn't do it myself that'd be weird wouldn't it imagine mm. imagine write testimonials for yourself I suppose I suppose if you're selling something and it's all about marketing and there was a thing called guerrilla marketing that came out uh, quite a while back and it was really full on full on marketing and uh, yeah so yeah you can you can read the testimonials if you've got a little bit of time 129 um, but you can uh, also you know write one and yeah that's just just groovy <laughs> it's groovy man I like it a lot it's nice and on Facebook oh what else is on my website I just go and have a look there's a few bits but I wanted to sort of say thank you to some of the newer people that have kind of um, arrived, not arrived, but have uh, sort of on my Facebook page. I thought like Natalie and Lilith have been for you know kind of being on my my Facebook and liking and leaving comments and sharing and stuff so I really appreciate that it's really nice it's uh, I mean at the moment I was looking at my statistics I do like statistics only well I don't really but I like the stats when it comes to podcasts my, my podcasts and basically this here, this podcast here that I'm doing, uh, what is it called? Let me bore you to sleep. I've had seventy-five thousand six hundred no seventy-five thousand five hundred and sixty-five downloads. There have been also five thousand three hundred and twenty-three plays. But I don't really count that. It's just the downloads. Because again, it's got the most plays of any of my podcasts. But it hasn't got as many downloads as some of my other podcasts. So I was wondering, you know, please, can we... Well, I don't know how we can say, can you please? But I think it would be really cool... To get this up to a hundred thousand by the end of this year, which leaves us what about six? How many, how many weeks is it? Let's have a look. So we've got six days. One, two, three, four, five. Six, so just over six weeks. Wow, 
Can you believe it? This Wednesday will be within five weeks for Christmas. So just over six weeks. Can we get 25,000 in six weeks? Is it possible? How much would that be a day or a week? A day, 25,000. I haven't got a calculator, but it's on my phone, but I'll use the phone's being used. So. so that would be really cool. I'd love to... S I don't know why. I've got a little, little special place in my... in my bomb bag for this one. This let me bore you to sleep. Maybe it's because it's the strangest thing I've ever done. Maybe it's because... I'm a Londoner. Oh, I love London Ten. Maybe it's because I've made the most amount of recordings that I've ever made before for, you know, any particular topic or podcast or course. So that would be good if I can get that to a thousand a hundred thousand by the end of the year I'd be very pleased so 25 I wonder there's a calculator on this web on this laptop there should be shouldn't there calculator there is a calculator oh there it is it was there all along so 25 25,000 divided by 6 no, but it's divided by uh, say so six divided by seven. Yeah. It's nearly six hundred a day. So I, d I mean, admittedly, I do get more. I get other. This podcast is on one, two, three, four podcasts. So this this episode, you can listen to us on four different podcasts. But this is the main one, you know. Sit as five hundred and ninety-five a day. still like to get at so maybe you can help me by sharing every time I upload something and stick on Facebook maybe share it on your Facebook if, if you want you know if you're happy to do so that'd be really cool so let's have a look at the stats as they are now every now and then I do do my stats just to share it so I know how exciting it is for everyone. I haven't done it for a while. So my total stats, my total downloads since I think it was November the 20th last year, 2018. So pretty much, a, it's been a year. It's the 16th of November now, so it's pretty much a year total downloads 556,070 total plays 20,693 so that's alright isn't it doesn't seem that long ago that I posted on Facebook that I'd reached the half a million mark now I've got another 56,000 added on. It's, uh, and I'll be, yeah, I'll be over to 6,000, 600,000 by Christmas. Um, probably, or by the end of the year, six, seven. So at least I know by the end of next year I'll have reached over a million downloads um, but I imagine it'll be quite a bit more than that 
but I've never reached a million of anything um, on its own. I mean, I've had millions of downloads uh, with various different podcasts over the years, but not individually, if that makes sense. I mean, until this podcast, like since, and this is like a bunch of podcasts, but before this, I had a cup. I had a few SoundCloud podcasts, and one of them, I think at least two of them hit the two hundred thousand mark. Another one reached a hundred thousand. Um, Podomatic. Oh, I had, uh, what did I have? Yeah, I think I reached about 100 and 120,000 between two podcasts that I just put on there. Uh, so, you know, plus, uh, you know, I've had quite a few different Podomatic podcasts over the years. So, and there's also uh, so many different things I've done so I don't know how many or to, oh, imagine how cool that would be just to be able to sort of look at a spreadsheet and say okay well I've totaled two, 2.7 million downloads or well, it might be might only be one, 1.9 million I don't know but it's still it's still kind of like oh okay so that's my one of my goals is to reach a million just to be able to look at the figure you know and I don't know it's just a it's a little bit of a buzz just for me personally just to be able to look and think, oh, you know. So with these, the stats, I've got, even though I've, oh, please work, Mr. Mouse, okay. So for this podcast, I've got 70,567. I have podcast like my most popular podcast is called Hypnosis for Sleeping Deeply and that's where I post all of the sleep sessions regardless of what they are whether they're Sleep Hypnosis Weekly Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis or the Let Me Bore You to Sleep so that that one I've had 110,702 downloads uh, over the last year now the second most popular podcast and bearing in mind I haven't I haven't made one of these for a little while but uh, let's have a look is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis and I've got 101,065 total downloads and I mean it, it variates to be fair the last time I made one was the 9th of November and it's now the 16th so what's that six five days six days seven days yeah seven days a month a week and There's a hundred and sixty four episodes or sessions, recordings. Hundred and sixty four. That's a lot, isn't it? I know I've got a lot more than that here on this one, but to do a sleep, deep sleep whisper, I started off with only seven. eight I 
I don't know. But then I did, then I started doing, they just became popular. Quite weird. Didn't really understand why, if I'm honest with you. Um, because I didn't do anything to promote them. I just did what I did with all the other podcasts, but these got interest. You know, they they were, they were kind of one of the top performers, even though I wasn't adding anything new. And I was like, "Well, how come this is performing nearly as good as the ones where I'm producing new stuff for?" And it's the same with the relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety, panic attacks. It's the same for the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. So all three of these podcasts, they just start, start becoming popular, so I added new ones. And I started adding new ones in December last year, 2018. So the first date I've got here is the 4th of December, and it's number 9, Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. 4th of December and then from 9 all the way up to the 9th of November so it's like so it's 164 now so that's pretty cool I like that <laughs> I really am enjoying it so again these they're not only these deep sleep whisper they're not only on this podcast the deep sleep whisper podcast they're also available on three other podcasts as well so although I've got here 101,065 the reality is I've probably got more like 150,000. And just like with the Let Me Boy to Sleep, because they're on other podcasts as well, I've probably got 120, maybe 120,000 plus in reality, but it's just, they're spread around. I like, you know, I want the individual podcasts to to kind of shine on their own, you know. Anyway, I'm going back. So that was the Deep Sleep Whisper 101,065. And the hypnosis of sleeping deeply, 110,702. Because it's a mixture of basically three different podcasts or you know, three different recordings. So the Let Me Boy to Sleep, Deep Sleep Whisper, and the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. Um, and I've got two podcasts that are kind of similar in that way. So I get a higher amount of uh, downloads. See, in the last week or two, one day I've got 652 downloads, 535, 608, 475, fourth, like the last two days, 457. 457 downloads and then 411 downloads and so far today so far today 22 and it's it's kind of interesting to look back and see because on this one there's 447 listenable episodes but if you go back let's say if I go back all the way down to the bottom of the list 
to the oldest recording. Oh, okay. So these are the recordings I put on there. The first one was Fall Asleep Hypnosis uh, ASMR Fall Asleep Hypnosis One. And that was the twenty first of twenty first of November two thousand eighteen. And total downloads four hundred and four. So have a look at the stats for that. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't think there'd be any. I thought because it's such an old one, there'd be no nobody would be going back and listening to it. But I was wrong. There's not a lot, but there's some. Which I found oh, how strange. There's been one download today so far. Yesterday there was five downloads. Day before that four. Day before that four. Day before that nine downloads. Six, five, six. So I know that's nine and four, and you know it's not a lot. But bearing in mind it was a year ago, and there's well, four hundred and forty-six episodes or that you know that have been put on there since. I thought it would have got lost, you know, in the crowd. Oh. Try another one. Sleep Hypnosis Weekly number 15, which was the 14th of June. Yeah, that's this is a good example of what I was going to say. It's practically bare. Like the whole 30 days, only two days has anyone li listened to it. 7th of November and 11th of November, one download. So there's 470 total downloads, but hardly being looked at. Why is that look at something that's fairly new? Sleep Hypnosis Weekly 28. And that was um, 5th November. Oh, okay. So. 146 downloads on the 5th, 118 on the 6th, 46, and it just goes down. Yesterday it was 12, which was one up from the day before. So it's, you know, it gets attention the first day and then gradually it sort of loses attention each individual session so if I look at 250 let me bore you to sleep again and it was the 7th of November 160 downloads then 73 29 14 12 yesterday was 12 downloads So yesterday, two hundred and the fifteenth of November yesterday, this is number two hundred and fifty five, let me bore you to sleep. On here, hundred and fifteen downloads yesterday and today eleven so far. But we're only uh, like one hour into the day. Isn't it interesting? That's the well it's not is it really for you but for me it is because I love all this stuff oh there's a deep sleep whisper hypnosis 141 601 total downloads and yesterday you had 3 downloads the 18th of October 2 downloads it's, you know, Sunday is nothing. 
so it's just even though I'm getting for a month like yesterday 411 457 the day before for this podcast the um, not this one but the, the hypnosis for sleeping deeply which is the top podcast that I've got it's the individual ones from the past don't get that many views some of them and then the third most popular one is sleep insomnia hypnosis which is it's just a similar thing it's just got all, all my sleep stuff on and yesterday I had 308 downloads day before that 331 but on the 5th of November I must have I must have produced more than one recording because there's a big hype oh no only one I wonder why that is then I've got 611 downloads on the 5th Ah. who knows who knows so this one sleep insomnia hypnosis 99,208 total downloads and it's 1,088 total plays so that's the third most popular podcast the fourth as in stats how many have I got for today for there 123 oh that's for the whole day for everything so far okay so the fourth most popular is this one we've already done the stats for this so 75,567 that's the fourth most popular according to the stats but this is the podcast that I get the most feedback for and the fifth most popular one is relaxation hypnosis for stress anxiety and panic attacks 46,351 and I haven't made a new recording since the 11th and uh, so on the 11th I got 356 downloads then the next day the 12th 285 has kind of gone down gradually 172 14 176 and yesterday 121 so far today six so it's it kind of fluctuates depending on when I make a new recording and 390 was the day the last date that I made a new one for that so the 11th of November, 3rd of November, 30th of October, 14th of October, 4th. It's almost like every two or three weeks, which I'd like to be able to do every day. But I've got 64 episodes on there. And they're all pretty long. what happens with this is a bit like the sleep hypnosis weekly is when I don't make them for a while people are still downloading them for example the 14th of October I didn't make another one till the 30th but I had 1,406 downloads in that time so let's have a look, the 11th of November, let's have a look what the stats are for that. 
because that's what five days ago so I've got 237 downloads on the 11th 119 downloads on the 12th 70 downloads on the 13th 82 downloads on the 14th 15th is 53 and so far to day 2 and that was the stats for the the last one I did now let's see how many people are downloading still the number 61 from the 14th of October oh, hardly any so that's kind of how it works really the although it's from the 14th of October the stats only go back 30 days on the chart here so I was getting 69 on the 18th 78 on the 21st 74 22nd 67 64 and then gradually as the month or the days gone by 12 on the 11th 6 6 2 3 and 1 today so they just gradually decrease because they're from the past and also because there's new stuff to listen to so if I go to number 63 which was from the 3rd of November again it's the same thing I had uh, the 4th of November 215 downloads then 117 the day after 98 106 77 and yesterday I had 16 downloads and that was number 63 so I'm interested I'm going to go back to number 1 oh, I didn't think I'd have hardly anything and it's not like high but people are still downloading the first one going back to it's actually 16th of January 2017 but um, I didn't upload it until what, November 2018 because I, I made it the year before I did it it was a video think how many did I do relaxation of a did I do 34 I think to start with did I do 30 oh, I can't remember and I did quite a few and it was a course and then that was done and there was videos and I thought, oh, because at the time people were telling me there was, they really liked it. So I thought, I'll stick it on a podcast. See, so yeah, I'm still getting people download. One day, 6th of November, 24, 20 downloads. 11th of November, 21 downloads. Yesterday, two downloads, one today. So that was. Let me just have a look. August. All oh, right, yeah, I did. I did, 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 did. Thirty-four, and I was up to the eighteenth of February, two thousand seventeen. And then I uploaded that on twenty-first of November, two thousand and eighteen. And then I uploaded. Basically, how it got is I couldn't figure out what was going on because I was getting these stats, and the stats were quite good, quite you know they were rising. I was looking at the podcasts that I was actually working on, and it didn't tally up. I couldn't like well, where, where you know why is the overall stats higher than seems logical. And then I looked back, I looked at some of these ones that I'd not touched for months. And uh, 
basically the final one, number 34. So far it's had 400, no, 4,124 downloads. Number one's had 3,557 downloads. That's when I thought to myself, perhaps I should start I add to it, which is what I did, 12th of June, I did number 35, and I had 718 downloads, and then the 14th of June, I did number 36, that's got 780 downloads, then the 18th of June, I did number 37, that's had 1,028 downloads, and then this 27th of June, did number 38. That's had 932 downloads. Hmm. I wonder if anyone listens to uh, number 34 still. Hardly anybody. It's not as popular as it was. <laughs> I suppose because of all the new ones. The last time anyone listened was the 12th of November, and that was three downloads. So what about the newer ones then? 30... July... Okay, 12th of June 2019. No, 13th of November, two downloads. So 46,354 total downloads for this. So it's it's quite a way off from being 100,000. But it will get there. And the final one really, it's not the final, but it's the, the only other one that's really anywhere close is the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. And that's three... 33,149 and again like with some of the others it has a big rise when I actually make a new recording and then not much after that you know compared so for the 28th of October which was uh, Sleep Hypnosis Weekly 27 um I got 87 downloads on a 20 on that date, but the next day I got 192 downloads, and then kind of went down and up. Then the 5th of October, which was the last one, no, 5th of November, which is the last one of these I did, 173 downloads, 153 the next day, 111, uh, 14th, 104. Yesterday, 63, and today, 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 12. And because there's a week between these, so that they kind of have higher numbers than some of the other podcasts, like individually. So total downloads for the last one, number 28, is 526. But the highest out of all of the episodes was Sleep Hypnosis Weekly number 7. I got 500, no, 5,480 downloads on that one. And I can't imagine many people still listen to it. Oh, one today so far. None yesterday, the 14th one. So it's just very minimum, minimum amounts. Um, and none of the others really... Uh, I got the stop, 28 day stop smoking hypnosis course. That's 10,406. Uh, chronic pain relief hypnosis is 4,843. Uh, 
Jason Newland Free Hypnosis Service 17,179 Relaxation Hypnosis 12,024 Self Development a Self Help and Self Development Hypnosis 16,477 uh, Sleep Hypnosis is the last one really with any that's reached over the 10,000 mark and that's Sleep Hypnosis with Music 12,208 and it's fluctuating I mean, I've had 5 downloads today so far 12 yesterday 18 the day before 40 the day before that 31 the day before that 38 the day before that and 52 is the top so far on the 26th of October in the last 30 days and the last one I did was uploaded it on the 10th of August no the 8th of October yeah so well, I uploaded a few on that date sort of old old recordings that I'd found so I only had originally six um, sleep hypnosis with music now I've got 15 so I went through all my back catalogue and found some more but the most popular one is number six sleep hypnosis with music six 5,211 downloads I wonder if anyone listens to it still. Nothing for the last couple of days. No, very minimal. 22nd of October, six downloads. So it's quite, quite a small amount. But daily, again, daily is not massive. But it ticks over, you know, I suppose, with all the different podcasts. They all sort of come together and make, make you know, they make whatever it is they're making. So let's have a look. What's my, what's my least, the podcast I had the least um, downloads on. Oh, okay, all found it. Oh wow, short anxiety reduction, one download. Now, <clears throat> there are five recordings here. One was the 16th of February, 17th, 18th, 19th and 22nd. And one download since February wow just shows not sure what it shows but it shows something it shows something so that's us updated I like to do a little bit of uh, stats you know every month or two just to sort of update so I think it'd be really really groovy um, if you can help me get to the 100,000 for this podcast it will be oh so wonderful oh, it will be cool really so we'll just see what happens but and for those that listen to my other stuff I will be making other stuff as well I've just been a little bit busy um, 
trying to sort this flat out. Although I didn't, never really enjoyed living in little rooms in shared accommodation. The benefit was there was not much tidying up to do. But having all these different rooms, well it's not millions, but what is there? Four rooms, five rooms to keep tidy, and a hallway. That's including the storage room, and the bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, and living room. And having a ferret running around causing disruption. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.